most important tools a hacker has. They are made up of four 8x8 eight eight pieces that make one table tile or one of these down here, one of these squares. They are your textures or your objects almost and they're what makes the hack interesting because they're your visuals. To select one out of your bottom frame down here which holds all of your tiles available in this particular set you simply left or right click I think you can do either one so in case you wanted to grab this block right here the common block left right doesn't really matter you can tell if you've selected it by looking up in this top right hand corner in your clipboard which will say what is selected and as you see that single block has been selected now to place the tile anywhere in Smile, you simply find the spot that you would want to put it with your square, say right here, and left click. That tile is now placed there. Now you can left, left click every time as you go up or place them, or you can simply hold the left click down and just drag. And then let go when you're done placing to select a tile not from this frame but rather from out here you can select anywhere on the map or on your picture here say you wanted just an air you right click to select it and then as you can see in this top right hand corner it changes to a new tile now we have this particular tile selected and then I can drag over these to replace it with the air tiles in the background or background tiles you can also select more than one area. If you wanted to drag this whole cliff over here, you could hold down your right or hold down your right button or right click, hold it and then drag and then left let go whenever you're finished selecting your entire area. So we dragged all that and then you could see in the clipboard that this entire area is selected and then from there you can left click and place as many times as you want. And you can also drag if you want to do that, but that takes a lot, as you can see, it's pretty choppy. It takes a lot of probably memory and stuff. So, the next thing you can do, or that I'll show you once I delete these, is you're able to take, for instance, let's grab this particular cliff right here again. Right about there, you can see it in our clipboard that we've grabbed it and you have two different checkboxes horizontal flip and vertical flip now this is very useful when you have a large amount of tiles or in this case a little piece of the cliff instead of moving each one one by one you can move them all just by clicking and then you can see that in the clipboard it changed vertical does the same thing except it flips it vertical and then you can paste it wherever you want now you can also flip tiles without using these checkboxes just by using your arrow keys. If you select a certain object, say we select this square right here by right clicking on it and you choose left or right with your arrows or up or down, you can see the block moved. Now it's inverted the other opposite direction or up would just flip it vertically. So you can move it all around just by using your arrow keys. Now you can also grab this entire piece and select certain tiles that you don't want to have. In other words, say you didn't want this top area right here, you can click them, left click each particular tile, and then choose where you want to place it right about here. And now you notice that that top area is now missing. That's useful in case you've grabbed a huge amount of tiles, but yet certain tiles you don't want to overlap or rewrite other tiles you may be placing on top of. Um, let's see what else we need to go over real quick. <laughs> okay. We'll go over the tile, or BTS slopes and properties in a different video. But we'll go over memory limitations real quick, since so that's fairly quickly. Remember, you just drag your right click to drag a whole bunch of tiles, or select a whole bunch, and then you just hold down left click to drag them across the screen to paste those particular tiles. Now you also have only a certain amount of memory or 
area that you can fit into a certain room. If you save your room, like going to File, Save Room, you'll notice a number up top. 3,476 over 5,165. The first number is how much space you've used. The second number is how much space you have. So if this number ever, if the first number is ever bigger than the second number, you've overwrote something. You're using more space than the room can handle. Uh, that can cause a lot of problems, and it's not a good practice to use. For the most part, most rooms for their size are generously uh, filled with memory space. There's a lot of room, so you don't have to worry about over or expanding the amount of room or passing over it. And Smile does warn you if your number is bigger than this number, but it's not always 100% accurate. In other words, this room may not have 5,165 bytes of memory. It's a very close estimated guess to say. <laughs> so just be wary, and backups are your friend, especially when editing large portions of hacks and doing a lot of, uh, I guess, work in a short amount of time. You want to make sure you have your backups or even a long period of time. That way, in case something goes wrong, you always have that backup to fall back on so you don't have to redo everything over again. Next, uh, we'll go over the BTS slopes and uh, different types of tiles in the next video.